Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So I'm looking at this interesting Diophantine equation. The question is how to solve 45x plus 33y is equal to 9. And at this little formula that is written down right below the question, we can use this formula to solve linear Diophantine equation by using Euclidean algorithm, right? So the formula is let a be an integer and then d is the greatest common divisor of a and b. The equation ax plus by is equal to c has no integer solutions if d does not divide c. But if d divides c then there are infinitely many integer solutions. And to be more specific, if x is equal to x0 and y is equal to y0 is a particular solution of the equation, then all the solutions are represented by x is equal to x0 plus b over d times n and y is equal to y0 minus a over d times n, where n is an integer in general. So for this question, we can specify how your a is equal to 45, right? So in this equation, we can have a is equal to 45. And then C and the B is equal to 33. Finally, C is equal to 9. Okay. So this is what we can use on the next slide. And we can actually use this Euclidean algorithm to make sure that the greatest common divisor between 45 and 33 is equal to 3, just for the practice, right? So using this Euclidean algorithm, we can have 45 is equal to Okay, 1 times 33 plus 12. And then at this time, 33 is equal to 2 times 12 plus 9. And then 12 is equal to 1 times 9 plus 3. Lastly, your 9 is equal to just 3 times 3 plus 0. So that is why we can simply say your greatest common divisor between 45 and 33. This is equal to 3. And at the same time, 3 divides 9. So that's why we can use this formula that was on the previous slide, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'll be actually coming up with this x0 and y0. Uh, to particular value of x and y in order to represent x and y in general solutions. So that's why my next step is going to be using the reverse step of this Euclidean algorithm to find this one specific solution of x and y, which is x0 and x, y0. So let's actually work on the reverse step for this, right? So we can actually focus on now at this time, starting with a 3. Okay, 3 is equal to 1, 12 times, 12 minus 1 times 9, right? Okay, then we can represent this 9 as follows. So this is going to be then equal to 12, still 12, minus, I'll be representing this 9 as, so still we have 1 times parenthesis, 9 is equal to 33, minus 2 times uh, 12. So we are working on the reverse step of this original Euclidean algorithm. Okay. So we can actually distribute this negative sign from now, right? Then this is now equal to 12 times 12 minus 33 and then plus 2 times 12. So that is why we can add those two terms, the first term and the last term, in order to represent this as 3 times uh, 12 minus just 1 times 33, right? Okay, then in terms of the 12, then we can actually move on and represent this as 12 is equal to 45 minus 33. So this is then equal to 3 times, instead of 12, we have 45 minus 33, and then we still have minus 1 times 33. Let's keep going on on the next slide for this information, right? Then we can specify if you distribute your the parentheses, then we will have this is going to be then equal to uh, 3 times 45 minus 3 times 33 minus 1 times 33. So that is why this is equal to 3 times 45 
now minus 4 times 33. This is what we have. So that's why we can call this, now at this time, u is now equal to 3. And then let me call v is equal to negative 4. Then using this, we can specify this one particular value of x and y. First of all, your x0. x0 is equal to this u, 3 times. Now we have 9 over 3. So that's why 9 is a particular our solution of the x, right? Then using this y0. y0 is then going to be equal to this v, that is negative 4. Negative 4 times, okay, still 9 over 3. That is why we have negative 12. Right, so we have this x is equal to, x0 is equal to 9. One particular value of the x and the other particular value of the y is negative 12. This is what we have. So that's why we can use this x0 and y0 in order to represent the general solution of the x and y, right? Let's start with the x. So your x is equal to now, uh, this x0 was equal to 9. 9 plus, now at this time using the little formula, then we will have 33 over 3 times n, right? So that is why this is going to be then equal to 9 plus 11n. And the y, the general solution for the y is now the one particular, particular value of the y was negative 12. Negative 12 and then minus a, which is 45, over okay, 3 times n. So that is why this is going to be the negative 12 minus 15n. And at this time, n is an integer, right? So that is why the final solution and the general solution of x and y is given as s. x is equal to 9 plus 33 over 3 times n, which is 9 plus 11 times n, and y is equal to negative 12 minus 45 over 3 times n, which is negative 12 minus 15n, where n is an integer. This is the final solution for this interesting Diophantine equation. Okay, so I'll be back with more videos for more questions like this sometime soon.